Welcome to the YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are going to look at the tips and tricks of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So guys, let's start off from the camera itself. So guys, let's open the camera. So as you guys can see, there is an option of 3 is to 4 over there. So by default, it will be on a 12MB due to some reason Samsung is using 12MB for most of the shots. We need to set to high resolution mode. That's the 108MB to experience the maximum. You can see ratio 3 to 4, 108MB, high resolution. So for only with that, you can experience the 108MB. Else, it will take photos only in the 12MB mode. So guys, then another feature called single takes. Actually, single take feature basically does is taking the photos with our ultrawide camera and the normal camera and then make random shots uh, maybe with color filters then taking a reverse video hyperlapse video so just a moment will be perfectly captured with all its details and then we can have pro video mode pro video so in pro video one we can adjust the iso apertures the autofocus levels white balance and all it's all fully customizable by then the next thing is related to the front camera so the same goes with the front camera too So guys, now it's in the front camera. As you guys can see, the same option is also on the front camera. So 3 is to 4, 40 MB. So actually by default, it will be only on 3 is to 4. You, so you need to switch to 40 MB to experience the front camera in 40 mode. 40 MB. So now it's in 40 MB resolution. So that's so nice, guys. So guys, now let's go to the displays. So the Galaxy S20 ultra has a 6.9 inch display so you guys can see my hand is not able to reach the top to slide down the notification bar so the setting is right down here so hold up on over here then go to home screen settings then you can see swipe down for notification panel so enable it and now guys just swipe anywhere on the home screen you notification panel will be down and swiping up to the apps drawer so that's the most convenient way so you know, don't need to uh, readjust your hand so that you can pull out the notification bar then the next thing is related to the display itself as you guys can see it's the option lock home screen layout so basically this is so if you customize your home screen well and you don't want anybody to readjust your home screen so you can see now i can readjust my home screen to anywhere and uh, add apps from anywhere to there so you guys can see you can add apps from here but if you go to home screen settings and lock home screen layout then you can't move any item see say can't move item while home screen layout is locked so guys you we can't do anything so you can't move any apps from the app store to the here so that's the most convenient way if you want to not anyone to rearrange your app so then again unmark this to again rearrange then the next thing is rotate to landscape mode actually this basically does is you can use also your phone in the landscape mode too so like this guys so the next main thing that it displays actually the Galaxy S20 Ultra by default still comes at 60 Hz. So you need to switch to 120 Hz to experience the maximum smoothness. So actually you can enable the 120 Hz in the motion smoothness under the display. But there is a thing you can't use the Quad HD plus and the 120 Hz at the same time. You will be only limited to Full HD plus if you, you want to use the 120 Hz. So actually it's a move from Samsung to reduce the battery uh, drain because of the 120 Hz display. Actually I think it's pretty nice actually the difference is not noticeable in fhd plus and quad hd plus so that's obviously nice to have that but hd plus is uh, we can't notice the difference between fhd plus and hd plus so i should recommend all also using the fhd plus and must galaxy if you take a galaxy s20 series you must use s120 hertz actually it's so smooth guys you guys can see i don't know you guys can see well in the camera itself actually it's so smoother when compared to the galaxy s10 plus and all so actually s10 plus on the left so guys it's much much smoother so actually you it's more far far better guys so you can see guys right over here itself so that's regarding the display settings guys then guys the next thing is 6.9 inch how to take a screenshot just a palm swipe actually i will show you just do like see guys the screenshot is taken so all you do it is actually it is enabled by default so go to settings and then go to advanced features over here 
and over advanced features you can see motions and gestures upon motions and gestures this is the option which i have just used palm swipe to capture just swipe like this on the entire screen with your palm and it's captured then easy mute so if your phone is ringing and just flicking your phone like this will mute up the call then smart alert so if your phone is just locked and just wake up your phone just put up your phone then it will give a light vibration like if you have some notifications and all then the smart stays there actually i don't feel it convenient to explain it right now because it needs some more uh, updations and all to be perfect then double tap to wake and lift to wake so as you guys know uh, if your phone is locked just uh, put up your phone to uh, lift to wake and then double tap means just double tapping if your phone will wake up so guys by conventional samsung touch wise ui experience ui the one latest one ui always uh, enable the animation scale so the so some users like to be a little more fast responsive and also there is an option called reduce animations so actually now it will have some animation like it is going like ooh and going coming back and also you guys can see some animations over the animation scale is more so you can go to advanced features and then click on reduce animations then you can much very few animations or like actually it feels much responsive and feels faster but actually i prefer some animations actually i la love animations so and all so i just prefer that one then another option over here so on one tapping the power key it will just lock and upon holding it will turn on the big speed so instead of that go to side key option then just select press and hold to power off menu so then if you hold up over here so then you can arrange to power off so that's all regarding that then double press so if you double press you then actually it is set to quick launch camera we can open any other third party apps if you need so you can switch that too so it's upon you guys it's such a customizing method then we can have two more features over here that means the quick share and the music share so the quick share feature is absolutely like the wi-fi direct so if you want to share a big file from one for one of your galaxy to another galaxy actually now the galaxy s20 plus after the one ui update it have almost received that uh, one so you guys can see over here quick share is also on here so just enable that quick share on this both of them and if you want to share any photo or video suppose if you i want to just uh, share this video then just click share over here so instantly you can see the galaxy s plus purpose without any of your connection or pairing so just do connect over here just send galaxy s plus so instantly you will get a receive a notification then click on accept then it will send the file instantly you guys can see quick share So guys that's the feature regarding the quick share then so it's uh, no given notification send that's perfectly so we, that's more convenient than the wi-fi direct then next guys is the music share so that's basically does is we want we can use our one bluetooth speaker by you two users so actually if suppose this is my bluetooth speaker actually i can control the music with my two of your phones instead of just one actually my me and my friend can control the same bluetooth speaker hey man let's hear this music no i think this is more fantastic then just here so you can switch up on the uh, fonts to play music or something like that so that's another one in the galaxy s20 ultra actually you can see in the one ui 2.1 onwards then by instantly you can see screen recorder over here it's by default screen recorder over here as you guys can see screen recorder is so you, you can enable no sound media sounds media sounds with mic so it's absolutely upon you guys then another thing that's almost you guys know actually it's a dark mode actually you can see i have enabled the dark mode so along with this wallpaper actually it's blended with wallpaper actually i really love it guys so go to settings and then go to display and then go to dark mode so here actually this is the light mode and just go to dark mode so then we can have adaptive brightness that the uh, auto brightness itself then we can have screen modes over here so actually it's viewed by default so if you want not much punchiness you can select a natural mode so it will reduce the eye strain and all then you can have some options like blue light filter so here blue light filter which reduces the harmful rays and allows us to for a smoothening view then we have touch sensitive actually the galaxy s20 ultra if you use some screen protectors then we can could cause some actually some touches may not be work so properly so you can have touch sensitivity increase the touch sensitivity for screen use so that's in display itself so increase the touch sensitivity so that's also a nice thing guys so the next is regarding the edge panels actually we can have many edge panels over here so by default most of them will not be selected so you can select which of them you need access 
so i have selected apps smart select tools live message people tags actually the live message is fantastic one actually it was firstly introduced on the galaxy note 8 and all so then that's like this and actually i will show you so just swipe over here for that screen and actually you can see live messages then tap on here and then write see guys so you can share this in whatsapp on your friend's birthday and also you can directly wish in a unique way so that's in a more convenient then you can have actually i have selected some defaults over here guys then we can have live messages people actually it's enable the favorite contacts to be added and just just one click away you are you can be called in tasks your favorite tasks you can add over here then your favorite apps then smart select actually if you have some number which is which can't be copied directly then you can use the smart select and you can select the app so actually if the galaxy store is the myth uh, just say this then actually i just crop the area and then just click and there is an option called extract text so it's if it's a phone number then it will extract the extract phone number so it is there and galaxy store so the exact galaxy store is being copied and then just click copy for copying that guys so that's another convenient then we can have pin to screen gif animations and then we can have torch ruler by default itself actually most of you guys not been noticed by like this then we can have settings under settings we have galaxy store which where we can find bunch of uh, edge panels over here so that's also nice then we can have another feature called edge lightning guys so actually i will show you edge lightning so edge lightning means it's you know, on every notification we receive it shows an edge lightning like this so we can customize the method which you shown and we can uh, transparency with duration and all so it's upon you guys on selecting which one you like the most so guys that's all regarding the main features and then as you already know about the always on display and guys you can uh, use it's upon your guys so we can enable three options that tap to show that's most convenient may else it will consume some battery that show always will consume battery else you can do show as scheduled and schedule at the night time for easiness and all then so guys that's all regarding uh, the tips and tricks of the galaxy s20 ultra guys so Stay tuned. Thank you.